And now for a few words again from our WAW president, Sin. Okay. I got no problem with our president, Sin, coming out. Of course, here's our former president, champion and current president who's on a mission. You know what? I'm just going to... Tonight, I would like to call out the number one contender to the WAW Championship, the 2009 Hellbound Champion, the Raging Demon, Carnage. Oh, that's right, he is your 2009 Hellbound Champion, the Raging Demon number one contender, Carnage. And of course, he's fighting sick tonight. And remember last year at X, where they fought in an I Quit match where Carnage was beat down, not to say I Quit, but beat down to unconsciousness. Well, it's funny you should mention that, Carnage. Now, I know that you were expecting the living curse sick here tonight, but unfortunately, while he wanted to be here, Sick is unable to appear here tonight. Hey, look, Sick couldn't make it. So, Rocco, that means you need to choose a new opponent for Carnage. So now, the WAW champion, Rocco. Rocco, your WAW champion. Sick couldn't make it, so Rocco has to pick another person. And of course, you see Carnage bringing out the Cowboys to Hell shirt. So there's really nothing Rocco can do, or nothing Carnage can do. No revenge for him tonight. No revenge one year later. Now, Rocco. Now, Rocco. You need to pick a new opponent for your doomsday opponent, for him to wrestle here tonight. You've got Gino Diomedes later on tonight. Carnage needs an opponent. Sure he's not up there? Yeah, I know he's falling down there. And, and, okay. okay, so can I pick anybody, even if they're not wrestling anymore? Yes, Rocco, pick anybody. Carnage needs an opponent. We're in a pinch here. We need somebody to fill sixth place, so pick anybody you want. Can it be a Hall of Famer just like us? Yes, Rocco. It... I'm not going to fight you. <laughs> Carnage wants sin. Do you, do you not remember Cemetery Gate 666? I've been there. I've done that, Carnage. I'm all set. Yes. Pick whoever you want. Don't pick me. Okay. For the first time ever. The Raging Demon versus the Wicked One, the Jersey Devil! The Jersey Devil back here at X, the 11th anniversary show. Oh, you know what? I really think he always wears this gear. The Jersey Devil, a changed man since legacy, went home, started a family, has a daughter, including with his son. I believe, Rocco, you know, that might be one of the smartest things you've ever done. So you got the Jersey Devil for the first time one-on-one -on -one with the Raging Demon. And yes, I said the first time ever, one-on-one. -on -one. You know, Mr. President, why don't you join me here in commentary? All right, so 
So this right here, the first time ever, like I said, we got the Jersey Devil versus the Raging Demons Carnage. My, oh, the guest commentator for you right now, our WAW president, Sin, who's been in the ring with both of them. He can put you a better insight of what these two men are like in the ring. And obviously, I know he's not happy about this. Rocco proving that he's not as dumb as he looks, building another loophole in one of our president's rules. You're damn right that's what Rocco did. Rocco took advantage of the fact that we're at a pinch here tonight. Oh, come on with this stuff. So the Jersey Devil... Ah, that's right. ...is trying to play games with the Raging Demon. It's not very smart of him to do. Like you said, I've been in the ring with both of these guys. Oh, it pokes him in the eye? Eventually, these little games are going to... These games are going to catch up with the Jersey Devil. Well, actually, to be honest, I understand what he's doing, Mr. President. I really do. He's done this to most of his... He just farted in the carnage's face. That's really? The Jersey Devil comes back out of retirement, and one of the first things he does is fart in somebody's face. Really? Well, in my opinion, I think the Jersey Devil needs to go back to the Double Cross Ranch with his other brothers who don't know how to stay retired either. Exactly. The guy retires, comes back, retires, comes back. You know, it's kind of a joke. But all he's doing right now, now I can understand his strategy. He's a smart man, he's a ring veteran, obviously. He's been here since day one. Get in the fucking ring! What does he say? He's saying, get in the effing ring. Wait, is he asking for the microphone during a match? This audience is so loud, I can't hear you. Hold on. You're kidding me. Really, in the middle of the match? They, they keep chanting my name, I can't hear anything you're saying. Give me a break. Well, I'm uh, sorry. What was that? I said. The Jersey Devil playing mind. Look at this. What is the Jersey Devil doing? He is playing games now. Like I'm trying to say, I understand completely. And what he's doing, oh wow, look at that, right into an arm bar right There's there. game that played off for him. One, two. Well, he's trying to enrage the demon, which is not the smartest thing. I mean, in retrospect, you think about it. You enrage someone, they make mistakes. Yeah. They are rot blinded by rage. But the raging demon, as you mentioned before, Cemetery Gate 666. You pissed him off in that match. I pissed him off in the weeks leading up to that match. I got inside his head. I got him to turn against his cult leader, Gino Diomedes. And what was the result of that match? The result of that was me losing the WAW championship. Thanks for making me reflect on a bad moment in my career, Chad Epic. I'm sorry to bring it up, but we're trying to bring a point for the Jersey Devil. You want to get into his head, I understand that. You want to make him angry. But in the same ass respect, he's chopping him. <laughs> That's not going to work. That is not going to fly. That's probably like a fly just kind of bounce. Oh! oh! Now, Carnage knows how to chop. I'll give him that much. He knows how to slap your chest so hard you feel like your sternum's just going to go through. Oh. Oh. oh, wow, look at that. A nice little standing sidekick right there. Hey, guess what? what? Oh, wow. What I guess kicking? if you can't chop with him, better to uh, kick his head off. I'll give Devil that one. I'll give the Devil his due, so to speak. Nice little uh, segue. And, uh -huh. I mean, you, you piss off a raging demon. I mean, he's already raging, obviously. But oh, yeah. He doesn't lose his cool like most, as you know, sir. He's a very calculated individual when he gets in that ring. Angry all the time, set on just maiming his opponents. It's rare that Carnage makes a big mistake. And wait, we got a Rima Plex. Oh! One, two, and uh, oh, Carnage lifting out with the. Oh, wait a minute, it looks like a key lock. I know you enjoy any time you see the devil in pain. Oh, I definitely enjoy seeing him in pain. The last time he was around before showing up at Hellbound uninvited, I got hell fired for, no for his loss. I couldn't do anything about it. The rules were stated as such. If I got involved, devil would lose the Oh, time. full Nelson slam right there. And what did I get in return? I get hell fired. And what happens Dude. as a result of that? People cheer him. You know, for some unknown reason, I don't get the devil, why people like him so much. I like I him better at Jason Danvers when you were his manager, helping the Pure Division as his referee. Yeah, that was about the only time he meant anything. I mean, he was the cornerstone of this company, yes. Him along with Dirty So Killer. he says. So he says he was the cornerstone of this company. 
He's the wicked one. He's been around, but he's playing a dangerous game against... You want to fight, tick someone off like Carnage. Go ahead. The results are going to be the same of everyone else who's gotten in the ring with him. You're either going to sure. tap out or you're going to get pained by the maximum Carnage. Oh, yeah. Carnage likes to try and send people through the ring with that maximum Carnage. He can choke the life out of you with the Kata Hajime. Akata Hajime, I have personally experienced that submission. It is not fun when someone is jovering, shoving their thumb in your iota and you cannot breathe and then the world around you, ow, goes oh. black. Yeah, I've been there in that hold before. Thankfully, I was able to free myself out of it, but it's not a fun move to be in, I'll tell you that much. I mean, right now, we gotta, I mean, you can't deny this has been a great match right now. Devil up, devil over, Tried misses that kickback. Oh, oh, and a spear. One, one carnage two. Tackles, people. Unless you're that person getting tackled. Yeah, I don't ever want to be tackled by Carnage. That would not be good. That wasn't good either. No, no, that was actually no. quite disturbing. Um, now back to the match at hand. Yes. Oh. You got the Raging Demon doing exactly what he does, and that's dominate people. Name someone else in WAW history who is a two-time Lord of the Ring winner. Uh, I believe that honor just goes to Carnage. Name someone who year after year... Oh, wait a minute. Oh. One... That's sling blade number one. And sling blade number two. Here comes the hat trick. Oh. I'll give Devil his due. He's holding his... Oh! I'll give him his due. He's holding his own shot. with Carnage. Guy's been out of the ring since April. Doesn't look like he's got a whole lot of ring rust on him right now. Well, right now he's going up, for, of course, for that corkscrew headbutt, I believe. It's, it's vintage Devil. No! Oh, oh, wow! Double stomp. Hey, he is a striker. You know what? Devil is a striker. He has speed and he has agility. Well, you know what he needs to use with that? He needs to keep Carnage at a distance. You get caught by Carnage. He's in trouble. But he needs to move fast, he needs to strike fast, and he needs to stay out of the grip of Carnage. Oh, wait a minute. This is the first ever meeting these two. He's going for the Testament. No New Testament there. Oh, wait. No, the... Oh, nope. wow. Reversal of the Hajime. Two. By the devil. Carnage kicks out. Now, this is a one-time event. I want to make the fans not get too excited. The Devil's a Hall of Famer. No, he cannot be fired. It, 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 oh, that Tata Hajime is locked Tata in. Tata Hajime. Oh, wait a minute. Climbing up. Carnage goes down. Whoa. Con oh, wow. Carnage remembering Apocalypse last year. He locked in into Kevin Chaos. Kevin Chaos up the ropes. Pinned him because Carnage would not let go. Oh, wait. No. Go for the Devil Lock. Oh, being powered oh. up. Oh, there goes the referee. Referee goes down. Carnage is... Oh, wait, the New Testament maybe again. Up. Oh, the New Testament. We got a pin. We got one. Well, we got nothing. The referee's out. I mean, we, where's Matt Bishop? Where's Red... Oh, wait, that's right. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Sin. Sin. Sin, wait a minute, what the, what is this? There's no referee and Sin with a sinner on the Jersey Devil and putting Carnage over. I'm not really sure he need the help. I'm not too sure he needed the help here, but Carnage won. Two. Oh no. The Jersey Devil kicks out from a sinner and Maximum Carnage, the Raging Demon, right there. Oh, wait a minute. Sin! 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 Oh, turn around. Ring around the road. Sin being chased. Go! 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 Through the crowd he goes. And sent in through the curtain and downstairs, followed by Rocco. Carnage is up first, of course. And right, the Jersey Devil. Wait a minute, going for it a third time. Oh, Polish hammer to the back exit. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, a maximum carnage to the Jersey Devil. If we can get a pin here, that just might be it. Two. Three, oh, Jersey Devil loses. Driving near the official Your word. winner, Carnage. The Raging Demon. Raging Demon Carnage, the first encounter of these two. Carnage.
pins the Jersey Devil in the center of the ring. One, two, three. Jersey Devil, a former two-time pure champion, a former WAW champion, a former two, three-time team champion, the first ever triple crown, the first ever Wow, Grand Slam champion just got beat by the two-time Lord of the Ring winner, one-time WAW champion, the Raging Demon Carnage. Not to mention, of course, the 2009 Hellbound champion. I'll tell you this right now. Yes, that is the Hellbound championship. That is the Hellbound belt. What that is also, that right there is a receipt for whoever may be the WAW champion up at help or excuse me at doomsday jersey devil trying to compose himself in the ring and these fans know who the jersey devil is they respect for what he's done and what he's did <sighs> Not so god damn it us. william that is the second time I've come out to this ring, and you saw fit to attack me. Now, I was chosen by Rocco to be Carnage's opponent tonight, and when Rocco gave me the call, I felt especially honored since somehow I, you know, my invitation got lost to the mail. It's the 11th anniversary show without the Jersey Devil. No, I don't think so. So I didn't get to be part of the pure wrestling match. All right. Rocco gave me the call. Here I was, one-on-one -on -one with Carnage for the first time in my career. But you couldn't let it be, could you, Sin? Everybody in this crowd saw I had his number. No. No one saw that. He would have kicked out. Sin, I got just one question for you. How soon is doomsday? The Jersey Devil back in WAW. I'm not really sure, but that sounded like a challenge to me for a WAW present for Doomsday. We'll have to wait to hear what he says.